Hello, I'm Captain Ray Willett with Suffolk Fire and Rescue, and in this video we'll be covering any additional changes not covered in previous videos. The first protocol we'll be covering is AOV or airway oxygenation and ventilation. The goal is to have an SpO2 of greater than 94% for our patients. If a patient has an SpO2 greater than 94%, then there is no need for supplemental oxygen. If a patient has an SpO2 of 90 to 93, then start with a nasal cannula. If a, if a patient has less than 90% on the SpO2, you want to start with a non rebreather This change is very important for our STEMI patients as it's been routine to give oxygen to any patients complaining of chest pain. This is not true anymore. If these patients have an SpO2 of greater than 94%, there is no need for supplemental oxygen in these patients. The next protocol we'll be covering is allergic reaction or anaphylaxis protocol. In previous protocols, it was noted if a patient is greater than 40 years old or has a cardiac history, then it was a physician order to give epinephrine in these cases. This is no longer the case. If a patient has suffered from anaphylaxis, epinephrine is standing order for all patients. It is also noted in the flow chart there are two doses for epinephrine, 1 to 1,000 or 1 milligram per milliliter. This is due to some pharmacy changes of the labeling of the epinephrine that could be in the drug box. For anaphylaxis, you are to give 0.01 milligrams per kilogram of the 1 to 1,000 or 1 milligram per milliliter epinephrine up to a dose of 0.5 milligrams. The next protocol we'll be covering is our breathing difficulty protocol. For patients where CPAP is indicated, it is now approved to give one milligram of Ativan to assist with CPAP application. This is standing order for both intermediates and paramedics. Lasix has also been moved to the bottom of the protocol and changed to a physician order. The final protocol we'll be covering is our nausea vomiting protocol. For those patients who are profoundly nauseous or actively vomiting, it is now approved to give Zofran first prior to fluid boluses. Zofran can be repeated after 10 minutes.